This boring entryway table just won't do. That's better. How about maybe a yes? And then maybe just a little mm-hmm, much better. Let me show you how I did it using Work Pro Tools. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to transform thrifted $5 vases into beautiful faux textured pottery. For the first piece, we're gonna mix up a bunch of spare black paint that I had and then combine it all until we have the perfect black color. Next, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of baking soda. The baking soda is gonna create that textured clay look. If you'd like to have more texture, add in more baking soda. We're gonna apply the first coat with just a regular paintbrush. I'm gonna cover the entire vase and then start to move my paintbrush in all different directions to give it a little bit of texture. Once the first coat's had a little bit of time to dry, I'm gonna add some plaster of Paris to my paint mix. This is gonna add even more texture to my vase. After my vase had a little time to dry, I noticed there were some high spots. So I grabbed my Work Pro 12 volt cordless rotary tool kit and sanded down all of the rough spots. Once the rough spots were gone, I used some of the mix that was already dry and took my hand and basically just added more texture using the dried up paint. To turn this face into a lamp, we had to get a little bit creative. So I took a piece of scrap wood, a T-nut, and a bolt to attach the lamp shade base holder to the vase. We simply dropped in our little T-nut with a string into the vase. We used the string to center the T-nut. Then once it was center, we went ahead and attached the bolt to make sure that it was nice and tight. Once the mount was on, we were able to attach the lampshade base. Then I took an ever bright tap light to make this into a real lamp. The tap lights come with a double sided sticky pad, making it easy to attach right onto our base. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how it turned out at the end. For now, let's move on to our clay textured jug. For this project, I'm gonna do the same exact paint mixture, except I'm gonna use tans and whites instead of blacks. To give the jug some nice texture, I added some white paint and some baking soda and used a foam brush to tap on some texture. This jug had some really sweet details all around the bottom that I didn't want to lose with my textured paint. So I used my Work Pro Rotary Tool Oxide Grinding Stone Attachment to grind out the intricate detailed features. It was super simple and the narrow grinder attachment worked perfectly to pull through those little accents. Let's finish our last piece and then I'll show you how they all turned out. For this one, I wanted something a little bit more special. So I used my Work Pro Rotary Tools cutting attachment to cut a wooden napkin ring in half. Then I used my cordless hot glue gun to attach the halves to each side so they'd be faux handles. Then I used the same black clay mixture as I used for our faux lamp. Y'all, I am in deep love with all three of these DIY faux clay textured decor pieces. It cost me less than $15 to make all three, and it was possible because of my Work Pro Rotary Toolkit. And thanks to my ever bright tap light, my lamp actually functions like a real lamp and not just a vase. Let me know what you think of our three new DIY textured pottery projects.